start tonight with a warning for drivers along Highway 280 after two people reported having their cars shot into over the weekend. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. One woman showed us pictures of her shadowed back window. She had three kids in the back seat at the time. Luckily, they were unharmed. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark live along 280 tonight. And Michael, police are following some leads, right? Yeah, that's right. And one of the victim drivers was able to get a good look at the suspect vehicle as described as a black Chevrolet Cruze with a Georgia tag. Now, Shelby County deputies think that shooter was shooting a pellet gun. And tonight, this mother is just thankful the incident wasn't worse. A drive down busy Highway 280 with a frightening interruption. All of a sudden, I hear this big pow. With three children behind her, Amanda Reed turned around to find her back window shattered. Just look at the glass from this picture. A shard even cut one of her teenage passengers. She was freaking out when she heard it. She started screaming, are we being shot at in the back seat? In between Chelsea and Harpersville, close to County Road 51, Reed called the Shelby County Sheriff's Office. I was the second car that had called in at that time. Um, for the same thing. Deputies say someone shot at two occupied vehicles Sunday night with a pellet gun. Reed's car was hit three times in different places. <laughs> Highway 280 is heavily traveled, and Reed can't understand why anyone would shoot at a moving car, especially with precious cargo. The 14 year old was actually sitting right at the door uh, where it happened. Um, you know, when you think about what could have been. Reed and another victim were able to describe the car to deputies. Investigators say a quick 911 call and vehicle description can help. Authorities are still on the lookout for Sunday's shooter. And when Reed looks at pictures of what happened, she's thankful the car was all that was hit. Always tell each other you love each other because you never know what's going to happen when you walk out that door. Now, again, that vehicle described as a black Chevrolet Cruze. It was supposedly heading down Highway 280 towards the Talladega County area, according to Shelby County deputies. We've not heard if there's been another sighting of that vehicle. As soon as we hear any more information, we'll, of course, let you now know. For now, reporting live along 280, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.